GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Experience the next level of imaging with Vivo X100 series. Pre-book now. Hi, Shriram. Welcome to Kalata Plus. Hello. Welcome, Bharadwaj. I mean, welcome. Right? Thank you. Good fun. What, I'm, I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is, I've been doing a lot of interviews. So I'm just, I just wanted to take a small break and then come and meet you. That's why you've been waiting. That's okay. I, I'm always happy to wait for you. And I'm even happier to wait to see what T-shirt you're wearing. So this is like psycho... I mean, it's it's kind of. It's all I actually good. thought I'll change the T-shirt for you. Then I said, okay, that's more time. So yeah, yeah. Shriram, have you realized that the title of your film, and, and I'm not being insulting at all, that the title of the film "Merry Christmas" acronyms to MC. <laughs> so we had a rule in the beginning that whenever we are doing text, also say the full thing. Okay. So don't say MC. Okay. <laughs> it just sounds odd. Odd. But you, you, you guys have realized that. Yeah, yeah, long time back. Okay. Because, oh, this is MC, this is something else. It just doesn't sound nice. Okay. Wikipedia calls you a specialist in neo-noir action thriller movies. Okay. Do you agree? No. <laughs> no, I don't like any of these tags. You've done very few films. I mean, I've not done a handful maybe. Right. So, I don't know. I mean, they just, there's just too much hyperbole. So, I sort of, it... Uh, doesn't bother me, but it sort of makes me feel like a, a little, you know, undeserved or whatever. I mean, I don't know. And plus, these tags are not good. I mean, it's nice when somebody's made a lot of films and gone. <laughs> but you've kind of specialized in this zone, right? It's like you've gone into this zone with somewhat of a noir feel. By the way, I've always wondered what neo-noir is. Because I've never figured out that term. Because a lot of people say that if you, it's basically noir updated to the I modern think, day. I think so, because I mean, noir is normally 30s, 40s, 50s, stuck, you can say it was noir film. Mostly the black and white film, big heat and all that, uh, double indemnity, double indemnity, and all, indemnity all that. Yeah. The moment you come to 70s, 80s, actually, you know, when you have, uh, what is that movie with Kathleen Turner, Body Heat. Body Heat, yeah. Body Heat and uh, these films, I mean, it's like they have to find a new, I mean, so new noir, noir sounds. Sort so, of but then why, why, don't, why don't we have neo-westerns or I don't know. True, true, true. Like, like what, why just noir gets this, this neo thing? There were even people who were told me like, you, this film is supposed to be neo-noir, but I said, no, no, I didn't say all that. That is your thing, it's neo-noir. I'm not saying all that. No, I'm saying it's a story. It's a, the same film made by somebody else would be, could be a romantic thriller for all you know, you know, yeah. musical romantic thriller. Yeah. But speaking of musical romantic thrillers, you displayed this fantastic talent for song picturization in probably a least liked movie, Agent Reynolds. There was that right, uh, Rapta, Rapta, Rapta and also the Dil Mera Muft Ka, yeah, which yeah, I think yeah. Saroj Khan choreographed right, and right, that was yeah. a spectacular Mujra number, Neo Mujra number, <laughs> <laughs> which, which, which came on screens after a really long time. Right, yeah. And we don't see Mujras anymore. In fact, know? that was one of the thoughts when you were doing Agent Reynolds, since we have a sequence set in Pakistan, so let's do a one of those things and also in my and with the you know the the chameli on, uh, the, yeah, on yeah. the hand and all that so really it's proper a... and that had the bug in it <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so 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 please continue no no so i was i was I mean, you, you you say I, I mean i just you brought out the song business so this movie has got uh, four songs actually yeah yeah <laughs> no but the thing is you know even when you have songs in your films other than agent we know which was pretty much a, a like a spy kind of thing so it's different but when you have the songs, they kind of pass by in the background. Like, but you're always like, I love Vijayanand, I love this guy, I love Devanand. And, and those guys actually managed to find ways to incorporate songs into very unsong-like movies, you know, like, like non-musical movies. Right, right. Does that not interest you? No, no, definitely it interests me. And in the sense, I mean, my dream is to do a... A song picture which I can say, okay, this is, I've learned something from Vijayanand or from Raj Kosla. But uh, what happens in my, my sort of, so far, mostly what I've done is it's like, uh, there's also a story going. So I don't want to interrupt the story, but I like the songs. So I'm trying to do a bit of both. And so there's a plot. So in between the song stops, something happens, then the song continues again, which is not the best way to probably... What they were doing is like, I mean, it almost seems magical and effortless, you know, so... But I'm there to the story kind of, if you look at it logically, <coughs> the story does stop. But there is an elevation to the song, song happens and then you slip back into the movie. 
Are you saying we have lost the patience for that? I don't think it's about patience. It's about most people don't know. See, many of those great films, most people have not seen or seen in bits and pieces. Right. You know, only, but I have grown up on those movies. Yeah. So for me, for, for example, when you take a film like Jewel Thief, if I just pull out the core story, it's a pretty dark story. It could be done like any doppelganger movie or yeah, yeah. you know a serious movie. But it's those five or six songs that suddenly make it a tapestry, a sort of a, a full thali of uh, enjoyment. Enjoyment you know? and also there's, there's even a like a heartbreak song like Rula Ke Gaya, yeah, yeah. Sapna Mera, which Vajetimala sing, which is the last song you'd expect in, in, right, in yeah, this kind yeah. of a... a and like I said, there's also got a story bend. If you know the whole movie and you know the plot, I mean, the whole song is an act. Yeah. It's an act to seduce this man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, yeah. so I'm saying, but you've not done that much, is what I I've not done that much. Yeah. And, uh, is, so I was wondering why. No, it's, it's just, I think, uh, lack of expertise, I would say. As the, oh, as come so on. Far. You, you no, no, that, to just, some extent, right. because we, we, when we were doing a song, even for this movie, na, we have a couple of beautiful songs. And I was wondering, is there any other way I can do it which will, like, make it, uh, like, it, it'll make me satisfied in that manner, you know. But uh, what happens is, either maybe those songs were shot over seven days or eight days, and here you don't, I mean, like my budgets are usually sort of my schedules oh. are tight. So if I'm, I've got a song in this movie which is a club song, you know, this guy enters a restaurant and there's a song going on. Now, when you see a film like Tere Ke Samde and you see that, you know, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it. Okay. But uh, now that song is a spectac spectacular, it's great fun to watch. There's a love story going on in the background. I said, should I try something like that? But maybe, I, I'm. it just becomes maybe prohibitively expensive also to think of such a thing in terms of costs and time and everything. Whereas, I don't think those films are really big budget movies. Right. Even Tere Ke Samne was not a huge budget film. I hope I get the song before I finish the Finish the movie, okay. Dil ki mehfil, kuch mehfil hai ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Kar, some, yeah, like, something yeah. like that, yeah. If I sing it, I'll do it, but I'm not good. Huh? Asha yeah. song. It's a, it's a club song. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, Asha Bosley. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's more like a budget thing. No, no. I mean, that'll be too bad to say it's a budget thing. It's more like, you know, I have not cracked it to the maximum how it should be done. You know, here and there, maybe it's happened. Right. I love one song in Badlapur, you know, that Badla, Badla, and, uh, that, it's a background song. But... I mean, if you go and see even now, it'll be like, you no, know, and even my, it's not even there on the album, you know, because, because my, even my music director said, hey, that song is like, I mean, they want songs which the, the main characters sing or it's playback or, or it's a dance or something like that, you know. Right. Today, most songs, I think, the popular songs are geared towards eventually becoming party numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other thing I want to ask you about songs is, because you have Pritam doing the music here, and you have a like two languages, like Tamil, Telugu. Right, right. I think those are the two languages the film was shot in separately. No, no, it was shot in Hindi and Tamil. It was Telugu. Sorry, sorry. Tamil, Tamil and Hindi. Right, right. Sorry. I, I just saw the word Telugu then I was Haan, like, okay. Yeah. That, Telugu is the dubbed version. It's the dubbed version. Okay. Like what I'm trying to say is, is that was there any effort to make tunes that would be at home in both languages or it's today, it's all agnostic. Nobody cares. It's every tune fits in every language. Because uh, the culture, is there any cultural difference in the type of songs that that come out in Hindi versus Tamil is what I'm trying to ask. I mean, there is definitely, and there's one song in our film which, you know, the otherwise what we have done in this movie is we have got the Hindi song, then we have given the international track to the Tamil lyricist. I've shown the Tamil lyricist the movie, so he knows the movie and uh, often I find that since he's seen the whole movie, he can sort of invest a lot more in the, in, the, in the lyrics in terms of how it is suitable to the movie compared yeah. to the Hindi. Where Hindi it is like, okay, we need this and we got it. Which is fine. I mean, I, I'm happy with the Hindi. But when I see the Tamil, when I hear the Tamil, I say, oh, this guy has done something, more, added some extra zinc to it. You know? Right, so, right, right. But are, are you like completely comfortable with Tamil Shiram in the sense that, you know, most people who migrate, uh, Tamilians who migrate to Bombay, Pune, you know that. They, they know Tamil. The lingo, the slang of today's Tamil movies is kind of a little different from Absolutely. the Tamil yeah, that is yeah. spoken there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, was that easy for you to cross? See, the thing is, I must confess that my Tamil is not as great as uh, it should be. In the sense, I speak only with my mom at home. And uh, I watch a lot of Tamil films. And my mom watches a lot of uh, Tamil serials. So, that's constantly a background uh, sound in my house, you know. Right. Muttarg, Chellamma and all these things. They're like years long serials, whatever they go on. And for me, I just love the listening to Tamil, you know, because there's so many words which I'm familiar with, but I never use. Yeah. My vocabulary in Tamil is very, very limited. 
so what have you made for food what is the thing why did you make this again you know that kind of <laughs> <laughs> very practical stuff <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> so how how have we been managing the tamil interviews today tamil the movies are in my film no today you've been doing some tamil interviews yeah right? yeah but that much i, I managed in fact i i told to three I mean, masaran he is my associate director and uh, tamil uh, uh, on the tamil film so i told him should i he said no, no you must talk in tamil and the uh, and it makes sense you know i should talk in tamil so i tried and uh, i said am i 4 on 10 5 on 10 he said no you are 7 on 10 i said okay that's good that's yeah, not yeah, bad yeah. this is filmmaker as creative as you are always trying for new challenges and trying to break the mold and so on and so forth when you're making the same film in a second language you're making it in hindi hindi came first hindi came first yeah, yeah so you're making it in hindi so the excitement is kind of gone with the staging the this the that the discovery on set now you're trying to do the same thing with tamil was there like oh god was there a feeling like that there's one uh, i think it's magnificent 7 i think where i think this steve mcqueen goes to a bar uh, in the western and the uh, sadhu yeah. and there's this guy who's all bandaged up and all that you know and he asks him like you know what happened to you he said i was riding in the desert and i saw this huge cactus you know and i got off the horse and decided to jump into the yeah. cactus and he said why did you do that you know and he said it seemed like a good idea at that time <laughs> so it's like that you know <laughs> so it's like i wanted to do a tamil film so i was trying to oh i'll tick off that little box or whatever i okay i made a tamil film so that was my interest but it sort of uh, it is like it also it doesn't mean you're just okay shoot one scene and then immediately do the same thing in tamil it was not like that because katrina needed time to in its this film is a very performance oriented film it's not like a, it's not like those you know action spectacle fantasy where you don't care if the sound is lip sync is not matching because you're on a horse and you're like you're seeing wide big shots here's like very intimate there are two people sitting on a sofa and talking mm-hmm. and i had this thing of i don't want to cut to save a performance if i wanted to be like there then you see them talk so i needed her to be you know she has to really it has to be meticulously done you know so but it was fun i mean now that it's over that which was great so are you planning to do like a straight on tamil film at some point i would love to i would love to but then there should be no hindi version of it or, okay. you know kind of thing because this double thing is just a, what happens is you finish the scene then after 15 days or one month you go and do the same scene again it also sort of that what do i tell the dop it is the same lighting and everybody's level of uh, enthusiasm may go down well, you know? yeah so sometimes we should try okay let's do it differently let's not let's forget the hindi mizon scene and do it in different way we have done that also in this oh you've done that we've oh, done so bits the, of both so, so maybe then so if i see the hindi and then see the tamil i'm going to notice some you will, apart yeah. from the actors some yeah, yeah. differences actors are of course different and the idiom is also different right like uh, something in th- in hindi maybe just uh, maybe a 40 second scene it may become 1 minute 5 seconds here because of the language yeah, and so yeah. on so those things are there hence you can't do the you can't paste cut paste the background music you have to redo it uh, yeah. so it's a quite a lot of i mean it was it's not as easy as i thought yeah so technically it's two movies then yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, is yeah. technically two movies what the olden times we'd call two negatives yeah 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 you were initially going with uh thinking of self and doing a full on hindi film right and then you changed the correct character to a tamilian no no not like that what happened is when i was see this story is a story from a different era so i felt ki it's a story which you know if i just take the bare bone plot of the story i could well have made a episode of cid with this story you know it's like so that is the there is a plot and there is a there is a there is a story for me it was like uh, i forgot your question but what was your question uh, uh, was it uh, was the character changed to ah, a no, term no, so said yeah. no so what happened is when i had the story i thought i mean so i would be i mean i love him as an actor though our last film didn't work and all that but uh, i just think i just thought okay he he was little at that that time he was not so sort of doing so much and all that so i thought he'll be fun and uh, and i went to meet him he loved the story he said great and let's do it and everything and then i started fleshing it out and as fleshing it out i suddenly felt ki i mean i just felt ki this story needs an x factor which uh, i may not get with this it's a it's a, it's a conventional pairing you know mm-hmm. saif and katrina have done couple of more than couple of yeah, movies yeah. together race and all that so i felt it was not and it, it may just become ki why did i take this story kind of a thing you know so i uh, went to my producer and told him ki you know i think i i have made a mistake you know i don't think this is working out and uh, he said you better go and tell him now you know <laughs> what the hell you know he's thinking that had he shot go, something already no, okay. okay. we're not even we were 
I mean, I don't, didn't even have a substitute actor. Yeah. This is, I'm talking about 2018. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, then he said, go and tell him. I said, well, I went to him. And, How do you go and tell him? Last time you met him, he hugged you and excited. And next time you go and meet him, actually, I want some, <laughs> I'm changing. He said, what, why and all that. So, I took say something. I said, I don't know, maybe. I, I actually didn't know. That's the funny part. I didn't know why I was changing, except that I knew, okay, this is, I need something else. And, right. uh, and So, uh, you knew you had Katrina. Yeah, you yeah. just like the self part was the problem. It was not a problem. It was just I could have done the film also. It is not a problem. It's just that I was when I was writing it, I was not getting the sort of I was finding the scenes were sort of uh, okay. They were not like it, it was not clicking. Uh, uh, something was not clicking. I don't know what. And uh, so I said, let me rethink the movie. And if I don't have a, a male cast till that time, nobody can force me to start the movie. You know, my producer. <laughs> if I have both of them, they say, now start. What's your problem? So I said, give me some time. Then some time passed, almost some a year later, I met Vijay. And I said, okay. Because I was trying all kinds of combinations and things like that. And uh, it was just seeming like being there, done that, seeing that, okay, something. So I said, I, I think what's pro the problem is, it's a story of two strangers who meet. And they have to be random people, you know, it can be or any, but it should not be thought out, which means it's not random. You know what I mean? It's like if I'm sitting in a, in a train and, wait, and the seat opposite me is empty, and somebody comes to sit there, which becomes a story that somebody can be anyone. It can be a really old man, a really old lady, it can be a kid, it can be any, any person. Of course, for my story, I need an adult of a certain uh, age and everything. So I just felt that this was earlier casting was not working. So I went and it was a very tough thing to go and tell him. And he was naturally pissed off. And uh, then I said, Let, I know, someday I hope to make up. What was it that, that made you say Katrina is the person for this? I mean, like, she's. A kind of person you would not imagine in a Shriram Raghavan universe. See, she had met me once, you know, about three, four years back, and she had to just called me and to her office and her home and uh, said, Ki, I'm doing all this and I would like to do something else. If you have any story, let me know. It was just a small thing which we kept. I said, Yeah, I said, definitely I'll think of something and all that. After Andadun, I wanted to do something and uh, I wanted to, I said, okay, let me try this story. And I also, because Antadun had given me too much sort of, uh, I mean, people loved the movie and I got too much love or whatever it is, you know. So it becomes the set the bar high and all the typical things that happen. No? So I wanted to break that thing of, you know, the pressure of that, you know. I said, let me make something which is, this is for me a very sort of one night story. Like Ittafak was shot, yes, Chopra's Ittafak was shot in 28 days, you know. Mm. So I wanted to do something like that, you know, in a small little intimate movie where I'm, free to experiment and do my own thing kind of thing. So then uh, when she, I said, okay, let me do this. And it's not that I had not uh, spoken to other people earlier, earlier, uh, much earlier before I met her also. And uh, I mean, after Andadun, I got a lot of, you know, we can work with you, we'd like to work with you. But before that, it was, I, was, I mean, it was not so hunky-dory or easy. You know, mm -hmm. you go and narrate. All my films actually have been narrated to different people and they have said no for various reasons. I mean. Then I said, okay, let me try this with her. So the moment I got her, then I said, I need a casting which is a little bit unique, oddball, whatever the word is. Mentally, I was trying all kinds of combinations. I used to, with my small team, I used to, what about this person and this person? And, you know, all those things were happening. And uh, then I met Vijay. And I felt, okay, this is really sort of out uh, crazy. And he was, at that time, I think, going to do that uh, Murli Dharan biopic, or something, okay, one of those okay. movies you're supposed to do. And I got to know that he is not doing it and he had some two, three months free. I said, I'll just go and check out, you know. And I had met him. So I knew he, he knows, uh, he has a fair, fair, I mean, his Hindi was not like, you know, absolutely, he didn't know Hindi at all. It's not Greek to him. So I met, I met him. I narrated the story to him during COVID time on Zoom. He loved the story. Then I told my DOP and these guys, what do you think of this? Uh, they all, their eyes lit up. Ki, oh, this is a very odd conversation. So I thought that, that curiosity sort of gave me a little impetus, charge, whatever, so to go with it. And did that make you rewrite what you had? No, the rewriting continued till, I mean, till the, till the last day. Because what happened, the moment Vijay came in, it was still a Hindi film. Vijay, Katrina in a Hindi film. Then because of, uh, during the second wave and all that, now we had built a set for something. Then for three months we realized we couldn't shoot because some Katrina's dates for Tiger were crashing with ours and then Vijay was not free. Vijay was also very busy. So now I've got about 70% of a set done and I can't shoot, which is like prohibitive. So we had to bring it down and so on. 
Costs were going up, but nothing was on screen. We yeah. had not yet begun shooting. And we already spent a certain amount of money. And then I had this sort of a kill two birds with one stone kind of a thing. You know, if I make a Tamil film also, I get a, another negative also. Maybe they, that will amortize the costs of things, you know. Yeah. So, then the only person to really convince was Katrina. Okay, okay, you have to go through this, you know, little bit of a torture process kind of a thing. But she eventually agreed. She was put, she was still hoping that, okay, you do one film in Hindi with me and then do another, take another girl instead, you know. That was her, but that was not the same thing for me, you know. So, I said, no, you try and we'll manage and... Eventually, it's there now for you to see. Now, next week, you'll know what, what it's all about. <laughs> what it's all about. What takes this time? See, your films are usually about three to six years apart. What takes the time? Do you take breaks in between? No, no, are you a breaks. lazy Actually, writer? <laughs> no, I, I may be. I mean, I'm, I'm as lazy as any other writer. Uh, but I don't think... Uh, I mean, there are... Actually, there'll be reasons why this happened. Like this film, we finished shooting and uh, the... Every, the shoot was done in end of December 22. Mm. We were supposed to release in December 23. Then we had one scene which was not yet done. The I think the uh, one scene. I think there's a scene with Radhika Apte which was not done, and and some one small small things which I just couldn't do. And uh, meanwhile we were editing the film. We were so I mean the reasons are pretty stupid actually. There's no major reason other than this time I can say COVID. No, this this particular uh, one took a long time because of the pandemic, yeah, yeah, the yeah. COVID, whatever. But the earlier ones too. You take your time, you breathe between films. You don't like, you're not like bringing out a film. I, think, I think earlier ones is because trying to find the story. I, I Actually, I mean, both Andadun and uh, Badlapur were like, Badlapur was, the, I think, the fastest film I made. I began in whatever, March one year and released next, February next year. You began yeah. writing in March? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so that was like really, so it's possible. Right, right. The next one, the other one, the now, one I'm doing now, Ikkis, again, uh, after Andadun, we, we, because Ikkis had also promised to start the film, we, sort of, we, had, we were got, got into prep and everything. And then, because of the pandemic, the whole thing stopped, you know, and then, uh, then there was the, my action directors from Russia, the war happened. So, I said, okay, let me go back to this. It was like that. So, I'll have vague reasons for all this. I mean, the right reasons, but yeah, it shouldn't have taken so long. And we were actually going to release it in September this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year. Yeah. And what happens with the movie, na? till you don't release it, you will be working on it. I am at least, I am yeah, the guy yeah, who will be working is. on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, finally, it's out, that kind of a thing. Yeah, I mean, until they pull it yeah, out yeah. of your hands and say, no yeah, more, yeah. yeah, kind of a thing. So, but tell me one thing that was unexpected for you in Katrina and Vijay Sethupati in terms of what they brought to the table. Something that you said, oh, wow, I didn't expect them to do this. I mean, not while doing it, but when I started it, I was very fascinated by this casting. And then, when we are doing it, you see, you can't write, this film depends a lot on chemistry of the actors right, and kind right. of thing. And uh, so, but when it was sort of get coming together, that's when it is, yeah, we are actually getting a, that. I don't know, I can't, I mean, I can't, like before release, I can't say anything nice about the movie or, I mean, I'm supposed to say. So, I, I feel very hesitant Please to... Please feel free to praise your movie. <laughs> no, no, I, I have made that. the best movie on earth. <laughs> no, 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 I can't, I, I feel very odd doing that. So, but it's sort of come together, I think. And it's a very, I mean, also, I wanted the movie to be, like I said, in my head, it was a small little movie, you know. So, I said, I don't want any worry of uh, any budget and this and that. So, that is, luckily, we are okay on that. I mean, uh, it's not like it's huge budget or anything like that. But, uh, so, for me, it was just that, okay, I, we managed to pull it off with these two. That was, I think, the fun thing. Right. And uh, Vijay, as an actor, I discovered, I mean, see, every actor you work with, you find, uh, Vijay, I've never worked with, I've only seen his performances. So, when I started working, I started meeting the man, discussing, interacting, and so much. And there's so much, I mean, he has contributed to the film. Likewise, Katrina, who's like very... What do you mean, so much he's, con like in terms of acting? In terms of acting, in terms of even like, uh, like a scene I would have thought of in a certain manner. And uh, then he will just say, sir, what if I do it like this? I say, gee, that's not a bad idea. You know, so stuff like that, you know, which... Uh, very interactive kind huh, of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then the other thing that happened was very interesting because I had this Tamil... Uh, actually, Tamil, the guy I give credit to for pushing me into this Tamil thing was uh, Kumar Raja. Yeah. Uh, Kumar Raja, what happened? He had come once and... So I told him, you know... I have taken Vijay, you know, and uh, I feel like, he said, yeah, you should do it, you know, you should make a double film strike when the iron is hot type of thing, you know, and it's made a lot of sense. So, he pushed me, I said, look, I don't know the language, I can't write uh, uh, dialogue and all that. So, I had a Hindi version, 
Then, then he said, okay, I mean, he was doing uh, this uh, Amazon story, the stories, uh, Modern, Modern Love. Love. But he said, I've got my team of writers and I can ask them to work and they'd love to work with you. I said, okay, let me send them my script. So I sent them my script, they loved it. And I said, okay, now you all start work, but feel free to uh, make sort of uh, whatever tweaks, wherever you feel, you know. So we have one, one version, we had one version with one climax and so on. Then they would come, okay, they have a different scene for something. I said, this is wonderful. So I'll go back to my Hindi writers and say, okay, you know, this has come up. And there was initially that bit of, hey, what the hell, <laughs> we have got one scene now. So then I started sort of uh, collating the, both the versions in a sense, you know. Right. And uh, there was a lot of osmosis between these two versions. So all that happened. So I had, in a sense, uh, my writers here and there were another set of writers who were thinking independently. And they had, I was not interacting with them on, I was interacting with them on email and uh, phone calls. I was not really meeting them. Right. So you and Kumaraja and Sridhar, you kind of crisscross quite often. There's a kind of a bromance going on. I mean, we just, we all like movies, so we just discuss and he tells me, okay, I keep telling him, why aren't you making more movies? And yeah. uh, so I, I keep uh, telling the same thing. <laughs> so <laughs> then he'll say, okay, I'll, I'll narrate a story to you. And then you have many stories to narrate, they're all fascinating. I don't know which one he'll start now. So right, but this is what it's more like a like like a bunch of friends jamming about movies yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually like that. that. Yeah. So or do you actually take creative inputs from from him? I think. I mean. I mean. I'm not yet, but this film I've definitely taken. Okay. This film I've taken. Otherwise, we should just uh, like Badlapur and those films. He saw and he said what he li what he liked and did, like, didn't like whatever and so on. But this movie he. Uh, I mean, he's actually, his team has helped me. So, I've taken the help for casting right. uh, Tamil actors and so on. Right, right. In an interview, you said that every movie is a commitment and you have to be damn sure about it, right? It's like some time back, you said this. How can you be really sure about a film? You have to be, no? otherwise you can't. No, I understand that when you go to, from script to shoot, yes, you know that, okay, this <coughs> kind of looks locked. What if it unravels later, for whatever reason? Have you ever experienced that? Not yet, luckily. But uh, you, you sometimes come close to, okay, is this working or not? And then that one idea is what you need, actually. The idea may not come from your immediate circle, you know, because we are probably, uh, I mean, we have tried our options. Then a third person comes and says something which may just... Uh, make you look at it in a different way. So that sort of thing. But it's not that, I mean, the story I've chosen is definitely a story I want to tell. Uh, so far, I've not, like I said, I've not made too many. But, uh, no, it's not untraveled midway or anything like that. Right. Now, the next one I'm doing, uh, again, the script has been there with me for almost four years. But that is the script, which is, it keeps getting rewritten, rewritten within the, within the jazz, you know. So I've got this one sequence in NDA. Now, since I've not yet shot NDA, once I finish, once my release is out, I'll still be attacking that. Okay, what can we do better? What can we change? And if X, Y, Z or A, B, C happens to be in that room and I, I love to narrate the stories to whoever is pa passing, passing by sort of, they have the patience. So, so somewhere you get a lot of uh, ideas from there. Right. So when you, I mean, that movie, Ikki, I, I can't somehow reconcile the two things that are Sriram Raghavan and biopic. It's not, a, I mean, I wouldn't I, call it a biopic. Something's in that not, I'm very curious <clears throat> about it. So it's like to see how you're going to do it. It's a see, I'm also curious. That's probably the fun for me, you know, because yeah. actually it was not, I was sitting in uh, my producer's office, Dinu's office, and uh, somebody else was, Dinu, was narrating this to Dinu. And uh, so I was just there. I had gone there to, to discuss Badlapur 2. Now, Badlapur 2 is a, it's just the title, okay? There's no story. That story doesn't continue. But, but that's we had, over. That story's that's over. Always, that story's over. Yeah. But since the title was sort of the film was a success and the title has, you know, in today's times that just has value. So you can do any film which is a, a good out of the box revenge idea, you can make it Badlapur too, you know. The first one, of course, but everything was like, you know, thought out for that movie, very organic. This one is they're using a title to sort of, no, I won't say, I won't cash in, but the title was his attraction. So, and we had... He was narrating some idea to me. His one of the uh, one of his people, and I said, "No, this is not working for me at all." So I was I was saying, "No, Badlapur," and I had some subject which I thought was probably too dark for uh, our type. I did it, narrate it to a couple of uh, actresses, and they all were, "Yeah, it's good. Give us the whole script." No, I never give the whole script. I mean, this much you like, then we'll 
you know, you know, because the whole script it happens depends on the actor saying yes. You know, then you get a, I mean, there's a story there. There's a story and the beats and the few things are there, but it's never the full ready script. And which when they say that, that means they need to get more assured that it's something they want to do. So these are not regular feel-good stories. This one had a very bleak ending and so on. So Merry Christmas. No, the other one, other oh, one, okay. the the one Badlapur two. Then. Yeah. Uh, so I said, let me think of more, let me think of more stories and or something that comes up, maybe a book I read. And nothing was coming up and I was listening to this other thing and something about that appealed to me. I said, who's doing this? They said, no, we are just looking for ways. I said, I'm almost sort of tempted to do something just to take a break. And Dino said, okay, you tell me if you want to do it. I said, give me half an hour. I just went out and uh, just sort of, you know, I had a coffee and I was thinking and all. Then I said, okay, why not? Let me try it. So I came back and said, okay, let me do it. And then again, it, see, now Badlapuri, I mean, it keeps, you'll say, it began four years back. No, it, it, it began now. Yeah. We finished shooting, we, we started, we did one schedule so far. Right. And, uh, we have finished about 40, 45 minutes of the film. W would you say that, that, that Andhadun has given you some, a commercial cachet that you kind of didn't have earlier? See, I, but... After Andadun, I could have probably made Andadun too. They would have been very happy. Yeah. And uh, or something like that. But or gone to a bigger star. After Andadun, mm -hmm. I did get a lot of calls from some actors who said, Ki, do consider us if you have something. But the thing is, they are looking probably for a successful film. You know? Whereas any movie when it starts, it's like you never know what's going to happen to it. So I'm not doing like, you know, uh, hero, heroine, whatever. It's not that kind of a story, uh, yeah. uh, hero stories. You know? they are mostly of the, most of these guys are not heroes. They are characters who... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, I forgot In fact, with the, with the exception of Agent Vinod, I don't think you've had a hero as such. Yeah, and Agent Vinod, probably that's the weakness of that film. It was not like, you know, it didn't have a... Uh, I mean, had Agent Vinod been a sort of a lesser budget film, if there was not this bond ambition, and it was just a story. In fact, I wanted to adapt. There was a... There's one Hitchcock... Uh, one of the stories that Hitchcock didn't do before, you know, on his list of movies, there's a the book called The Short Night. Okay. So I said, okay, Hitchcock hasn't done it, but obviously he's chosen it, so it must be a good story. I can go and get the rights and all that, you know. It was not, of course, it was not even made. It was just a, I mean, I, I had the book, I have the book also, you know, uh, the next uh, Hitchcock or something in the cover says. So I read the book, it's a very slight story, you know, it's about a, a, a guy who's escaped from jail, a sort of, uh, possibly a you know uh, a baddie, and uh, and this uh, spy is told to go and befriend his wife because one day he'll come and contact her, ah. and that is the basic thing. And then what happens? It's a very small kind of. And Hitchcock would have found something extraordinarily interesting in that, yeah. but on the face of it, that it's a small short book, uh, sort of a, a paperback, you know. So, but then uh, that's. I would, if I'd done something like that, I would have been more more myself. This here, I was also get co-opted into the thing of a grand Bond movie. So a lot of your films, you know, they have sources from a book you read or a or a short film that you saw or somebody recommended to you or something like that. What is the attraction of of working on existing material? Is it to say where can I take this material? Is that an interesting process for you? I mean, I think it's. It's just that you get that, you know, I mean, you can get an idea from a newspaper article or, a, yeah. or something like that also. But sometimes these are stories which are uh, like uh, regarding book adaptations, I find them very reassuring because in a sense, you have gone through one experience of enjoying something, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, how do you interpret it your way? Like Badlapur, if you, I don't know whether you've read the original source thing, it's a, the whole structure is about two guys writing letters to each other. So it's about, about... 10 letters being exchanged and the whole film is there. Mm -hmm. But that obviously is not my film. So, but I had enough. What I loved in that story was that fact that, I mean, uh, the guy, you, you, I mean, the, the whatever, the, the good guy becomes a bad guy and the bad guy becomes a good guy. So that was what you need actually. And then the rest you sort of uh, invent, make up. Even this one, there is the source material, but uh, it's quite different from what it was, what, what the original stuff. The, the MC? Yeah, Merry okay. Christmas. Not Merry MC. Christmas, okay. Shiram, in many of your films, you take a star or kind of, and then use them in a way they've not been used before, kind of break their thing, whether it's Urmila and Saif in Ekhasinathi or Varun Dhawan in uh, Badlapur. 
you know, so you kind of make, uh, or, or even Tabu and Andhatun, you know, I don't think I've ever seen her do that kind of a, of a yeah, yeah, that zone. Yeah. Is that something you like to do, which is to take somebody from a different, who's been inhabiting a different world and then bring them into your world so that there's a, some freshness that comes from there? Definitely in the sense, what happens is ki whenever I try to write something, keeping an actor in mind, like there are two or three so, actors. So when you uh, write, you keep an actor in no, mind? No, I don't, I really don't. Because if I keep an actor in mind and a blank page, it's damn tough. I usually end up writing a very, uh, according to me, cliched or sort of uh, stuff that's already been done. The template is set kind mm -hmm. of a thing. You know, like, I I don't know whether I've told you about Sunny Deol. Many years back, after, after I had not even made a single film. Raman Raghav, you know, that was like... Yeah, yeah. So Sunny happened to see it because somebody showed it to him. He called me and said, okay, let's do something. So I said, great. I mean, few months I was just enjoying myself. I'm doing a film for Sunny Deol. I'm writing a film for that. I was not writing anything of any value. Because I'm trying to, I end up, then I'm, I realize I'm ending up doing what I have seen before. I'm doing what the character has done before and liked before, you know, so... This was Sunny after... This like, Sunny after Damini and all that. Oh, you know? okay. Uh, okay. So it's like, uh, I mean... So maybe uh, early mid 90s. Mid 90s, mid -90s, yeah, 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 okay. And when he was absolutely on top, now he's back in the reckoning, which is good. So, and he's, so he, I come to meet his dad because uh, Ikis has got his father in a, in a pivotal role. Dharmendra is in a pivotal role. So I do think one day I hope I'll do it. So you like that process of no, like so, turning uh, when you're no, casting. So when you're writing, then then you realize, okay, who this guy may fit or this girl may fit, and they have not done something like this, or they might be exciting. That that sort of a thing. So yeah, taboo was in my mind when I was doing Andhadun for sure. Right. Because uh, again, there was a source material, and I was very clear where the story will go. Though we had no idea of how it is going to go there. Mm -hmm. You know, so. But Tabu was on, but we didn't have other actors signed. No, nobody was even ready to do it. So many. Right. But that must have been a big relief for you, Shigam. It's like, even though you say you don't care about commercial success and all that, that the fact that the movie did so well. No, no. It's not that I don't care about commercial success. What I'm saying is that cannot bind you to do the next one bigger, then bigger. That kind of thing. That's what I meant. Right. If Andadun 2, if I say I'm doing it, even so the story is... When is Sri Ram Raghavan doing the Thousand Crow movie? This <laughs> is <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but uh, maybe some story can become. It's not meant for. See, I was telling in some other interview, how many of those thousand crore movies or five hundred crore movies? I know I can't say all this, but uh, will you watch again and again over the years? I don't know. I don't know. You never know. I know. Yeah. I mean, I know I can watch Shawshank Redemption whenever I'm in a. I, I feel like watching it. I can, you know, oh Godfather. So many movies, you know. So finally, you have to make the movie and not this whole money thing has become a big. Big uh, nonsense. <laughs> the way, where the viewer is interested in the box office. Right. So when you get this actor that's a little not in your zone, how do you make sure that they are going to fit? Because you have an idea that, okay, this person might work, but then the might is still there, right? So what do you do? Do you, do you have auditions? Do you do rehearsals? How do you get that, like to shed their skin and come into your, your world? It's, I mean, I think I'm getting too much credit for that kind of thing. In the sense, what I mean is they must I be mean, having I, I would act this, I would ask this of any director. Like, I'm not talking just about you, but I'm just talking because you've done this consistently. I'm asking you. See, when we were, for example, in Badlapur, was when uh, I, in my mind was somebody like much older, you know, for the character of Varun. And uh, what happened is uh, I was telling it to Dinu and uh, I had it to Sanjay also, my other producer. He just this story is like, he found it too much. Yeah. Know? Then Sridhar said, Ki, Ari, your one film has flopped and you are now doing something which is guaranteed <laughs> flop or something like that. You know? Some very... Uh... So he didn't like the story at all. So then, since I had the story and I liked it, so I narrated to Dinu and he said, Ki, do you promise to do it as you are narrating it? Then you can do it. I said, great, that's a good, uh, good uh, thing from, to hear from a producer. And he said, who do you have in mind? And I had uh, Irfan and people like that. I mean, I had kind of uh, actors in mind, you know, uh, proper actors. And so then he felt, Dinu said, I felt, ki, no, I mean, what if it's somebody young? Someone like, say, Varun, who had just done Student of the Year. And I think, nay, not uh, Student, that's the only film he had done. And it so happened that he called up at that point. And then I said, okay, let's call, I mean, let's call him, let's just test it out with him. He loved it. 
Now then he asked me later, you know, later on that the same day, do you really think I can do it? And in my head was, I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, I had no idea whether yeah, I can do it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, sort of uh, you say, yeah, why not kind of a thing. Then you, you work, I mean, you work on yourself, on your script, you work with him also. It's all, and there is Pooja. We were all like, okay, how do we, we just know this actor is there, he can possibly deliver. And uh, there will be people who say he could have been, like somebody else could have been much better and so on and all that. But I think it is still a wonderful performance and a very daring choice of movie for him. So there is a bit of a leap of faith there. Yeah, yeah. There would be, there would be. If I'm taking anyone, there would be that thing of, you know, uh, uh, same film after maybe two or three consecutive Varun hits, he may have refused to do it. Right. I don't know. Because, like I said, every film of mine, there have been actors who have said no. Right. They have heard the whole story and said no. But what they have heard and what they see, eventually there would be a fair amount of difference in terms of uh, moments, nuances, sequences and all that. Story would be the same. Right. Do you enjoy the writing process? Yeah. I mean... More than the directing? I don't say more or less because I love each phase when it is. Writing okay. is much more... You can be lazy, you can take your time and so on. Shooting is like you are on the... I mean, you, you, have, you, have, you can't uh, waste time there. And editing is again great fun. So it's like, I mean, she edits, but I mean, we sit there and it's like how much happens there is, is, a, is a miracle. Right. So when you sit down to write, what's your, what's your routine like? Again, I wish I had done enough, many, many films to then tell you that, but... Uh, no, so far, right. You've been making films for about two decades now, right? It's like, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, when you, when you sit down to write, what happens is, you try and write a version irrespective, just like, you know, what uh, B.N. Streeter called the pour it all out draft, you know, Hercule pour it out, pour out. So you just put out everything, you know, you put out everything. I mean, it's always, the, it's only when you have that, that you can go to the next uh, step. Otherwise, it's only the great film, you can't write from the scene one on the fr fresh, you're never going to write that. So you just write, write, like, I can give you umpteen, uh, options for scenes of Badlapur and uh, openings of Badlapur, or openings of Andazan, which we didn't use, but they were there. Or the climax again. There will be umpteen, but at least four or five options, which all seem right and all seem fine. Moment you freeze that, then that's up to you. But yeah. luckily, we say, okay, can we do better? Can we do something? Can we change something? And that keeps going on and on. Huh, that, like, I'll give you ex example wise, it's like Badlapur opens with a bank robbery. A bank robbery is a wonderful, I mean, any director, ah, I can shoot, stage it this way, I can do that, I can do this, and you know, like you can even, then eventually it came down to one single fixed camera shot, which is, uh, I had to go through seven, eight versions of the scene before it, it becomes that, where you don't even see those guys properly. Yeah. So, I mean, this is more interesting simply because you're, you're not seeing them, you're, so the, in a sense, you're trying to make the viewer invest in your, in your, in your storytelling. In the sense, the viewer has to say, okay, I better pay attention. This, this is not a passive viewing. Even this one is not passive viewing. If you, I mean, so it's a risky movie in that, <laughs> in that sense. Yeah, actually it is because I was, like some directors I speak to or writers, they kind of say that they factor in what they call the smartphone factor because they kind of figure that at some point people are going to like look at their smartphone. So they, they kind of, take an extra, extra bit of time somewhere to kind of factor that in. And I was like, that sounds kind of scientific, but also kind of scary. So... I, and this one, I mean, we have been sort of, how many people have told us, you know? Uh, by, by the way, the invisible person he's referring to is Pooja, Pooja she's his editor, there, yeah. who's <laughs> just come in, she's sitting down here, because I don't want people to think that you're just pointing at some, <laughs> like some invisible thing. <laughs> this kind of so. That's her laugh. Uh. Hello. So, you can hear me, but now see me. Yeah, so. No, so this one, like, it has got that slow burn quality and it's a scary thing, you know, because for a long time, nothing happens. The so, uh, the so called plot doesn't kick in. So, now how are you, and I mean, uh, even in the way, I also show it to a few people in the edit room and all that. They say, oh, it's taking a little time. And I said, yeah, I know it's taking time. So I'm actually, because I realized one thing, ki if I'm buying a ticket and going to a hall, then I'm willing to invest at least 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm not going to walk out of a movie in 20 minutes. Yeah. And those I walked out after the interval or something. And that too rarely. Unless it's really a 
a boring movie. Do you remember a movie you walked out on? Very few, very few. Okay. Do you remember the name of a movie? No, I won't tell you because I, it's not because of me. Because she said, let's go, the, that food joint will stop. And why are you watching this? That kind of thing, you know. So I can't name a movie, of course not. But uh, there are two, three, we have just left because the lunch time will get over <laughs> that, in that restaurant. And that is more the need of the hour. The need of the hour. You've said that one of your favorite films is Roman Holiday. You've never really dealt with romance in your movies. Was this? I mean, it's got a, it's got some romance in this. I mean, not this romance. It's like Roman Holiday. That is a wonderful yeah. Yeah. feel good movie. I mean, I don't think I can. You can do feel good. Uh, I don't know. Sridhar has this theory, which he's told in various interviews, that when you look past your demeanor, you're actually a very twisted little person. And uh, all your twisted fantasies are what come tumbling out in your movies. I don't know. But we were talking about uh, that attention deficit business. Na? So what I was saying is ki you don't leave a movie in 15-20 minutes. If you're sad 20 minutes, then you're going to get engaged or maybe you'll get frightfully bored. Or some, that's possible. Some of them may have look at the watch and all that. But I can guarantee that any film you, if you watch in the hall, it's still a better experience. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. uh, I saw which one uh, that... Uh, I am forgetting all the names today. What was the film there, the Japanese film? I just... It's now a movie. Drive My Car? No, not Drive My Car, the, the thriller. The Murder, The Husband. So, I mean, that's a beautiful film, though I'm sorry I'm forgetting the name right now. Uh, so, but the same, I saw it at home. And whether I like it or not, there are four or five breaks that happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not able to watch it at one go. Whereas in the hall, yes, I would have, ha. Huh. So, uh, this is a, for me a test movie in terms of this thing of, is it like, how vital is that? Yeah, yeah. Does everything have to have to happen from the word go or what? Yeah. So once it was put together, the producer saw it, I put something in the beginning to perk it up and all that. Then uh, I said, means what? I take that twist and put it in the beginning, then go into, you know, all that. Which seems, I mean, it will satisfy your, your basic uh, need, but it will screw up the movie structure. You know? So then we have something in the beginning which is to perk your interest, which uh, will, it will. Okay. Looking but it's not like that. It's something. That's the one, only thing we shot last year. Okay. Everything else the movie was shot. Okay. How do you direct Shridhar? Do you do you do a lot of coverage? Are you crystal clear about this is exactly how this shot is going to play out? Do you storyboard? Uh, what do you do? Do you do a David Fincher thing and do hundred takes? What do you, What do you do? Actually, we don't. We don't. We don't uh, do coverage, but okay. Really. Okay. So you're very clear when you come on set that... I mean, I may not be very clear, but we don't do coverage. Okay. I mean, since you know, okay, this is... I mean, coverage is... Uh, I, I don't know, I, I just don't see the point of it, actually. So, yeah, some largely you're clear how it's going to be going to be put together. So you talk to your DOP and kind of... Uh, DOP and luckily Puja also is on the set. So we have a chat and yeah, this is all we need for this and uh, so... So that, that kind of... That basic understanding, plus then you bring the actors in and then... Yeah, the actors are given that freedom to re-sort of imagine the scene. Or We don't do the final blocking till the actors are also part of it. Right. And, uh, yeah, coverage sometimes maybe during an action scene, but even there, I don't know. It's no more, more, more cameras. You may have two, one extra or two extra cameras. Right. So, which means that, have you ever faced the problem of you wanting a particular reaction shot or a close-up or a, an over-the-shoulder shot or something yeah, like that. that. That has to happen now and then, of course. And then you... But I think, I mean, sometimes you... We actually, sometimes, if it's a close-up or something, you can always shoot it somewhere and yeah. uh, take it. But sometimes the lack of having that may also give you a third way of looking at it. So, that's one thing. It's can all, you give me an example? Like, third, like third how, Yeah, just something that you cracked because you did not have a particular shot. No, I, I remember in A Kasirati there was one sequence where that game, that, that sort of uh, fairly... I'm, we are quite happy with that scene, that game. Uh, so, we didn't take any coverage of that. And on the avid, suddenly it looks like uh, four minutes or something is going on. I said, Ramu is going to come and see this. He's going to say, where's the other shots and all that. But if I had taken other shots, I'm very sure I would have cut it differently just to please this trigger happy man, you know. Hey, come on, let's go for cuts kind of a thing. But because we didn't have that, we were like, either we are screwed, or we can't do it again because that house also is gone and all that. I mean, we don't have that location anymore. So we had only what we have shot. And uh, for the early part of it, then there were two close-ups in the end of it. 
But luckily, Rabu gave a shot. I love that shot. Something that he said. I said, thank God we didn't have that coverage. Otherwise, I would have done that. I mean, uh, there must be more examples, but I can't think yeah, of. Right. Actually, we kept thinking, we find some way to take that close up. Ah, yeah, yeah, all, yeah. Through all the entire shooting, we thought, we'll do it, we'll do it. But who are they? Right. And it's as well that we... Can I please say, in Badlapur, that conversation after the big fight between uh, Varun and Nawaz, when, when Nawaz says, I was an idiot, but what's your... Uh, you know, I, I, was, I was a fool. What's your excuse? Yeah. Um, there again, the choice was not to not to cut to a close-up of Nawaz saying it. Um, in Johnny Gaddar, the choice was not to cut to a shot of uh, uh, Neil's character dying. Not to cut to a close-up. You know, he dies there like a dog and we are watching it from yeah. afar. Uh, these were definite choices. Yeah, these are choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just ask you a final thing which you may not answer. But I noticed some curious things about the way your title is designed. There is some origami stuff going on. There's a bird in a cage. Are these all little things that we are meant to kind of find out in the movie, or is it just a Christmassy design that you put? No, there? no, they are. They have got obviously got a certain certain uh, uh, reason for being there, and yeah, I mean, yeah, they are. They are. They are important things. Like yeah. I said, this film needs. Uh, now we have to pay attention because it's not a. We have not spoon fed you. Plus we have made it. We are taking a time to bring in, kick in the plot. Right. So it's a little sort of sometimes scary, but at the end of it, I am happy. I didn't take the other easier way out. Of spoon feeding. Well, spoon feeding sounds yeah something like that where you explain everything. So here many things are not explained and it's left to you, left to you to imagine. And it's also I, I that kind of some viewers of Andhadun were a little frustrated at the end. Because I think they didn't like the open-endedness, be like, is he blind, is he not blind, you know, that kind of... But in Andadan, somehow, I mean, luckily for us, it worked completely in our favour. Yeah. I mean, had we... Because that created a lot of discussion yeah, 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 around... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, every film is like, every, like there's one, what, that painter Cezanne says, says that, every stroke I risk my life, it's like that. So, so, you have to take a choice and say, okay, I'm going to make it like this. You know, Shiram, every interview of yours has some quote or the other. There's an Alfred Hitchcock quote somewhere, there's something else somewhere, like, like you're just filled with quotes. No, no, that's because I tell you, when you're shooting a movie, na, on the call sheet, we have every day one quote. It has to be an interesting sort of a... Are you uh, serious? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it has to be a quote, hopefully relevant See, to the movie. Here I was thinking you were this little, you know, little Sriram going to the public library and then, you know, getting all these books. No, no, and, I, and I have to tell my team, hey, tomorrow do we have a quote for tomorrow? Then everybody has to send something and usually... This sounds like know, a... Like a the blackboard of a classroom, and then yeah, somebody says, you know, have, truth always triumphs, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, there, should be, there should be a, a cinema quote, <laughs> idly by a filmmaker or in some kind of an artist, and uh, it has to be something hopefully relevant to the scene we are doing or whatever. So it's a tall order. So, but that's the only part. Well, you know, in the once the shoot is over, and to, before tomorrow's shoot, the only part I enjoy. <laughs> what is that quote? Because that is my immediate. So, uh, who brings up that quote? No, I mean, usually it's one of us. I mean, but I love hunting for those quotes because it takes your mind off everything else. You know, you just uh, and then you're also reading a whole lot of <laughs> like brainy quotes. Good stuff. Com. Yeah. <laughs> so you you actually have a quote. That has some relevance to the scene or yeah, scenes yeah, you're yeah. shooting. Either that relevance to that scene, that particular scene, or the, to the whole film in general, or to cinema in general. Okay. Something which, you know, so it may be about sound recording, it may be about camera, it may be about a director's way of saying something, it may be like Billy Wilder, we have used a lot of his quotes because they're like fab. He's a very quotable guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like his, even his quotes sound like dialogue. Yeah. You know, this is like a, like a thing. But one thing, Shiram. Like he said one, you know, which we have put in our, one of our films, I won't tell you which one. He, my aunt Agatha, I think Agatha's name, my aunt Agatha is always on time, but who will pay to watch her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a slight snide at some, maybe an actor coming late or whatever. Right. When you have, uh, like, you know, you make so many references to, uh, you know, classic. Bollywood, classic, uh, classic Hindi cinema, classic uh, uh, American cinema, what is known as the, 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 you know, from a particular time. But your own movies, you're trying to marry those influences with a modern sensibility. And does that take some time? Like, like to kind of mesh the story that you're trying to say with 
these influences I mean, that are coming. It's, how not, do you, it's not done like, uh, it's not like ingredients in a recipe book. You know? right. it's, just, it's just, it's organic. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's organic. Okay. Now, because I'm talking about the Easter eggs, the references that you put in, you know, that, that those kinds of things. Are those things that come while you're writing or do you no, kind while, of... No, while you're writing, what happens when you're with, with the film, when you're writing a script or when you're in that process, you know, uh, a lot of things that you interact with or you read and all that, a lot of things suddenly, because they just sort of seem to be helping your, your own work. I don't know how that happens. Right. So, I mean, it's not that, oh, let's think of something to put in the beginning of this movie or let's, it's not like that. It's just like, hey, this will be a great thing to put in the, in the you know, something, you may have read it, you may know it, it may be part of a song, it can be anything. Right. But that's cool. So, look forward to Merry Christmas. Shall we and, uh, yeah. So, we shan't call it by the acronym. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, all the best and as always a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, Good fun talking to you too. Thanks. And you make me talk too much, but it's okay. <laughs> GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Experience the next level of imaging with Vivo X100 series. Pre-book now.